All right, what's going on, guys? So I was in the middle of my 12-hour Cold War beta grind, and I noticed that I kept getting tagged in this tweet. So I was like, you know what? Let me check it out. Let me see what's going on here. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but here we are regardless, and it was a screenshot of a profile. I'm going to put it up on the screen, but I think you guys can probably figure it out. But yes, what you are looking at is indeed a screenshot of a profile of someone on the hub. I'm going to assume everyone knows what I mean when I say the hub. I don't want to say the full name, you know, the rules. But just a side note, I want to talk about this as well. Do people actually like make profiles on there? Not like the content creators or whatever, the people that are actually posting. Of course, they need a profile. But I mean like the viewers, you know what I mean? Like obviously people have profiles for YouTube and Twitch and stuff. But like, do people really make profiles like that on the hub? Like that's kind of weird to me. I just open up the incognito, get the job done, and I'm out of there, you know what I mean? I'm not over there, like, trying to log in and stuff, like, trying to remember my password. Like, that's crazy. It's still mind-blowing to me that that many people actually comment on the videos themselves. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, noticed... I don't do it often, but sometimes I'll go to the comments and I'll read what people are saying. And it, it's some real weird stuff in there, man. And people's usernames on there. Like, if you're looking for, like, the funniest usernames ever, it's on the hub 100%. Like, I don't know where people come up with this stuff. Anyways, back to the topic. So, they screenshotted this profile and they posted it. And as you can see... I guess they actually track your videos watched, which I did not know that. I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know why you want that. You know, that's probably a bad thing. You probably don't want to know your videos watched. But in this case, I would say that it's a little bit concerning that the number is 1,329,743 videos watched. That's a lot of videos, alright? That's why I titled this video, The Meat Master, because this guy is just the master, you know? This guy's different. I don't know if we should be concerned, get him some help, or if we should just respect the grind, alright? Because it was definitely a grind to get up to that number. Now, that being said, I still wanted to get the calculator out on this one because I'm just curious what the actual real-world time spent would be on that number. So, I was thinking of, like, what would be a fair estimate of time per video? Probably, like, three minutes or so, you know, because there's a lot of videos where you click off after, like, 30 seconds or so. You know, you weren't feeling it for whatever reason, you know, maybe you got clickbaited by the thumbnail or, you know, whatever. You just didn't like the video. Okay, you click off. But then, you know, you got that one vid where you watch for like 20 minutes and that really like raises your average up, you know, but those are obviously way more rare. And, you know, most of the videos you're not going to watch all the way through, obviously. So I don't know what a fair number would be as an estimate, but I was thinking like three minutes, you know, I was going to use that as our number here because, you know, we just need to get like a rough estimate. You know, it's not that serious. All right. We're not over here trying to meat watch on my guy or anything. All right. This is just for scientific purposes and and really just because i'm curious honestly so that being said if we take 1,329,743 and multiply that by three minutes that gives us 3,989,229 minutes now if we take that number and divide that by 60 it leaves us with 66,000 487 hours. Now we take that number divided by 24, it gives us 2,770 days. And then finally, we take that number and divide it by 365, and that gives us 7.6 years. Now that's a pretty insane number, you know, seven and a half years basically, like. That's hard to even comprehend, you know what I mean? Seven and a half years to spend on anything is pretty crazy, but on something like this is just another level, right? Now, I did a little additional research because I was just curious. The hub itself was established in May of 2007. So, the website has only been around for 13 years. So, you're telling me that in the 13 years of existence... This guy has spent half of that time literally on the website. 
watching videos itself. So the time he actually spent like browsing and all that other stuff, like you might add another year on there just of like scrolling. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of crazy. Now I'm going to go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt just because I'm a little concerned here. And I'm going to say that maybe we overestimated the time a little bit. And also I was looking at some of the responses on Twitter and some people seem to think that maybe it could have been multiple people on the account. Now that's definitely a theory. You know, I don't know why you would want to share an account for something like this. You know, this ain't Netflix. I don't really want to know what other people have been watching, honestly. Like, I think it's best we keep that to ourselves, you know, especially because you're going to mess up my recommendations and shit. You know, maybe you've been looking at some weird stuff and now that's getting recommended to me and, you know, I'm not really into that. So, you know, I don't really want other people on my account. Just my opinion on it, you know, I, I, I guess. Maybe you like their recommendations, you know, maybe maybe they looking at some fire viz. Maybe it helps you out, I guess. But that's just not a risk that I'm willing to take. Like, I'm good, man. You know, one individual per account, if that's what you want to do it. But anyways, I don't know who this guy is. Hopefully, he gets some help because... Clearly, he needs some, all right? I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna come out and say it, right? We all thinking it, but I'm just gonna say it like, you need to give your shit a break, bro, you know what I mean? Like, your meat probably sore, you know what I mean? You're gonna, like, pull a muscle. You overtraining, okay? Like, let's let's put it into perspective of the gym. Like, you gotta have a rest day or something, you know what I mean? You can't train every day, and, and from what it seems like, you train it every day multiple times a day for the last 10 years or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how long you've been on the site, but I'm just saying, like, you need to give your shit a break, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Be sure to check out my last video if you missed it. It was a little story time episode, so you can go check that out. But other than that, have a good day and peace out.